guys, it's the next day. So I'll do a little bit of the cage setup, but the everything we put in the cage and then the whole how I did it, I think I'm gonna do it in a separate video. So stay tuned. All right, so first we're gonna drill some holes in our bucket because the bucket that I got, it has a gasket for the top and it will seal it out completely and will not allow air in. So you have to drill some holes in it or you're gonna end up killing your reptile. All right, now we got snacks set up for Mr. Lovey over here. So for this project, you're gonna need a drill bit, something to drill with, and then I have a the carpenter's tool, I forget what it's called. And then I just kind of marked out what I'm gonna drill. All right, now we start the drilling. shaving so you need to make sure you clean all that out all right so now we are going to drill a hole to put the probe for our thermostat just inside the cage I'm gonna drill a small hole right here for the probe to come in so that way I can put it right here over the heat mat all right so here... oh I got a helper hi helper all right so this is what our thermostat looks like I'm gonna get this all and then see these probes they come with these little silicone cups but your reptile is gonna easily move that so we're gonna drill a hole just enough yeah. to get this probe through yeah. oh you're helping oh okay so I picked an appropriate drill bit just to barely fit this so it'll fit just in there so I don't really have to put too much of the caulking in to fill the space up all right, so for the next part of this project, you're gonna need a caulking gun of some kind, and we're gonna use 100% silicone because that is safe for inside your reptile enclosure. And we're gonna use this after we've put the probe through our hole to silicone down to the bottom onto the heat mat so the reptile cannot move it around. Yeah, now I got two helpers. All right, so there is the hole. Just drilled a tiny, tiny little hole enough for our thermostat probe to just fit right in there and then that way we can silicone it and it will sit right on top of the heat mat so it'll get a very accurate temperature by putting the probe in on top of the plastic I know some people put them on top of the heat mats but under the plastic and that doesn't really give that gives an accurate reading of the pad, but not an accurate reading of what the snake is actually possibly gonna be sitting on. If you have it on the pad, then, the, then there might not be as much heat inside the cage where the snake will actually be sitting on top of the plastic. All right, so now I'm gonna pull this out, put this away. So now I'm gonna get all of these shavings cleaned up and go get the heat pad. All right, so we've got our heat pad now. And I'm gonna stick it to the bottom. So give me two seconds for that. Now we've got our heat mat on there. The heat mat is a little bit small for this bucket, so I'll probably end up getting another one and putting it next to it. But I wanna see how well in our house it is gonna keep it heated, especially with the enclosed bucket, so we'll see. All right, so now, as you can see, I stuck the probe in and then it'll sit right on top of the mat. So now I gotta get the silicone and we'll silicone that down and it has to set for a few hours. All right, so now that I've done caulking it, see I caulked a little bit around that hole to kind of seal it. And I just put the duct tape around there, kind of hold them together so it's not moving around too much while it's drying. And then, that's all I did. I just put a little bit of caulking on the end and a little bit right there so the probe will sit right where I want it to. The tape is just to hold it in place while it's drying. And then I also filled in that little hole right there. And voila, we'll wait till it dries before we can put anything in it. All right, so the last little thing, these hides I got, they have like this really sharp lip inside. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just taking some sandpaper, just a little piece, and I'm kind of just hand sanding some of the rough edges off just to ensure that's not gonna cut up my reptile and things like that, you know? So yeah, just kind of getting all the rough edges off.
and there's our catch, cage setup. We have water dish and the two hides, one on the cool side, one on the warm side. We have some a few enrichment things. It's not too cluttered, there's still enough room to move around. And that's kind of it. <laughs>